Hello friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of this incredible custom home and I cannot wait to show you what's inside. Hello friends, welcome to our newest video. In today's video, I'm going to take you on an exclusive tour of this beautiful custom home with a double RV garage. This property is just a few days shy of receiving certificate of occupancy, so this is an exclusive tour of this home being really, really close to being finished. And you may find this video interesting for two reasons. One, this home is incredible, and I cannot wait to show you what's inside, and two, Currently, the seller is running some pretty aggressive buyer promotions in order to help get you into this home that may translate to you in a form of interest rate buy down or potential partial compensation for closing costs. But contact me to get more details about that. Without further ado, let's dive right into it and check out this incredible home. First, let me tell you a little bit about this property. This home is 2,962 square feet. It is a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, and it has a double RV garage. The total garage square footage is nearly 1,800 square feet. On the exterior of this property, we have some really modern features and finishes lighter color stucco along with dark accents around the garage doors double rv bay with extra tall and extra wide garage doors there's some additional parking on a side and aside from being aesthetically stunning this home packs an incredible value all of the exterior landscaping is zero scape to minimize water use and this home features incredible steel doors and windows and a balcony. Now this property is facing to the north, so the views from the upstairs balcony are absolutely incredible. The front of the property has a courtyard and it opens to the sliding door that takes you into the casita or this metal, massive metal door that takes you inside. As we enter the property, you begin to notice all the really modern incredible touches throughout so this custom monorail floating staircase takes you to the upper loft area and this wide open hallway takes you into the living room um, to, to the left we have a pathway that will take you into a powder and casita we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second I want to take you guys into this incredible living room. This area is absolutely stunning with really tall open ceilings and a massive accent wall that is designed to mount your TV and it has a pass through from the TV to the entertainment center. There are three massive windows that let in tons of natural light and there is a large slider right across from the dining area that allows exterior access to the backyard. Directly across, we have, again, really tall ceilings with a grand opening. And this kitchen spares no detail. We have a really large oversized center island, wall oven and wall microwave, side-by-side -side commercial fridge, custom hood over a gas cooktop, modern light fixtures, and a massive hidden pantry. This kitchen has two sinks, one in the prep area in a center island, and one off to the side, right up above the dishwasher. The cabinets were custom made for this property and they came at a substantial cost. There was absolutely no detail spared in the kitchen and the pantry has more hidden cabinets and a coffee bar area inside. It is a really good sized pantry that will allow room for 
whatever it is that you desire to put there. This living room looks really impressive with accent details on the ceilings and the incredible tile accent wall. The developer upped it out from putting a fireplace on that wall and I feel that it turned out really good because it really lets you appreciate the grandness of the size of that. Here we can see a custom staircase with floating stairs that take us into the loft area. And of course, the grand entry with really tall, I believe 23 foot tall ceilings. Let's go back to the front of the property and talk about the guest suite and the powder bathroom. So as you enter through the front door, you have access to a powder bath that has a floating vanity and a toilet. So this room is perfect and it's accessible as a guest powder bath. This door takes us into a casita or a guest suite. Essentially, it's a separate suite that could be locked away from the main home that has its own ensuite and a sliding door that can allow independent access to this area. This room is really good size and there's still some work being done in the ensuite but it has a beautiful floating vanity and the light fixture is getting installed this week. There is under vanity lighting and check out this bathroom. Solid glass, beautiful floor to ceiling tile, panty tile on the floor. I absolutely love it. This room has a small upper window and a massive slider that lets in tons of natural light. The staircase looks incredible from every angle and it is a beautiful custom touch. Modern light fixture under the staircase. And as we proceed on the main floor, this takes us into a mud room. That door will take us out in the garage and there are two ways to access a primary suite in this home. Primary suite is attached to the laundry room through primary dressing, or we could enter it directly through this door. It is a really good size, has six cans to provide it with tons of light. We have a double slider that takes us into a private secluded, fully fenced backyard. And you could comfortably fit a California King and maybe a few pieces of small furniture in this room. Primary bath is absolutely incredible in this home. Here we have quartz countertops, a standalone tub and beautiful floating vanities. Vanities have some under lighting that give it just a little bit more of that extra custom touch I absolutely love the color combination and all the choices for hardware in this home. There are two modern light fixtures and round mirrors above these vanities. This home has a massive shower with two shower heads, two individual controls, floor to ceiling, tile, and then again, beautiful panic tile across the floor. Directly across, we have a water closet, and then this door takes us into a master dressing. So this closet is also connected conveniently to the laundry room. I think it is a great touch that this floor plan has that really makes the owner suite the most convenient one to use in this home. Even though this home has a loft area, most of your primary living and most of your important square footage is on this level. But let's head to the upper loft level and talk about the rest of this beautiful home. The staircase has really light, really airy railing that serves its purpose, but also does not take away from this beautiful staircase. 
because the staircase is a work of art on its own. And from up here, you can really appreciate the grandness of the main level. There's a very spacious area that can allow for pretty good sized gatherings. The front entry and all of the north windows open to incredible views of Pine Valley Mountain to the north. And this loft area has this kind of general living space, hangout area. You can place a few pieces of furniture, maybe have a little space together. There's a slider that opens to this beautiful balcony that has incredible views of Pine Valley Mountain to the north. Two bedrooms in this loft area, and both of these bedrooms have an ensuite. Both of the bedrooms are a really good size. And this first bedroom has a ensuite with floating dual vanity. There is a closet through that door. And again, a custom tile shower, which is tiled floor to ceiling more of that incredible penny tile on the floor. And it has a really good size closet. And there is another bedroom on this level. That is a really good size as well. There is a hallway closet, just a linen closet. It's not very big, but it's nice to have as extra storage. Maybe turn it into a utility closet. There are two thermostat zones, so they're independent, independent uh, climate zones in this home. And this bedroom has probably the best views on this entire property. It opens through this massive slider to this balcony, so you can come outside in the morning or in the evening, maybe set up a small patio set and just enjoy and take it all in. This patio is finished with incredible tile work on the floor and it feels really chic, really modern with this really light railing that uh, doesn't take away from your view. All of the doors and windows are black on the outside, white on the inside. There was absolutely no detail spared in this beautiful home. This bedroom also has an ensuite bathroom, which has a dual floating vanity with two modern mirrors above it, under lighting underneath, modern light fixtures, and another huge walk-in shower with ceiling to floor tile with penny tile on the floor. Now, the part that you know a lot of you were probably waiting for in this video tour, let's take a look at the garage. As I told you guys earlier, this property has an enormous garage, which could accommodate pretty much anything that you'd like to put into it. Whether you're into cars, bikes, side-by-sides, maybe you have an RV or a boat, this is absolutely perfect. So there are three garage doors on the front to the north of this property. Um, this door accommodates for just a regular two-car garage, and then we have a double RV garage right beside it. This garage has really tall ceilings, and you can easily park two Class A motorhomes in here. Probably about half a dozen supercars 
couple dozen motorcycles, a tank, a boat, whatever it is you would like to park here, I'm sure will fit. Ironically enough, about nine out of 10 of our clients that have homes with RV garages do not actually own an RV. But don't let that stop you from making irrational purchasing decisions when buying cars, bikes, boats, or anything else that has wheels on it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to check out this video. We would absolutely love to see one of our viewers take advantage of the $30,000 buyer incentive promo that we have on this listing right now. And the price has also been lowered to just 1.25 million, which is truly a great deal for a beautiful custom home with a double RV garage in Dixie Springs. Please text me, email me, call me, and we can arrange a time for you to check out this home in person. And if you have any thoughts or opinions, please drop them in the comments below. We would love to hear why you could or couldn't see yourself living in this home. If you're new around here, please be sure to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and I will see you in the next one.